What's up YouTube? This is Cobra Timmy and I'm here to present you with In the Wild Finds episode number 16. Episode number 16 takes place at uh, Goodwill Salvation Army. Uh, I believe I hit half price books. Outlet may be in here. I'm not sure offhand. Uh, but there was garage sales and a Facebook pickup. Uh, this is two weeks worth of finds as these two pieces here are from week number one and then everything behind it is from the second week. Uh, this was not going to be a very long video so that's why I just decided to combine it and make it a bigger, a longer video. So let's get started. Um, first thing I'll show is the Facebook pickup. I picked this up on one of the buy and sell groups. Uh, I decided to pick this up to replace the other one that I bought uh, at uh, Salvation Army. This is the HDMI video card. Got it for a good price. So that'll make my computer better than the other one that I bought. Maybe I can get rid of the other one in a trade or sale or something. I don't know if anybody would be interested in an older video card, but you never know. Uh, this next pickup is from all the garage sales I did over the weekend after episode 15. So, uh, got this first game here for a dollar at a uh, garage sale. They didn't have anything else. They had like a Go Diego Go Wii game and I didn't want that. This looked kind of interesting because I picked up Army Rescue for a dollar. It looked kind of funny maybe. I don't know. Just went on a whim on that. Uh, then the rest of these games I bundled up, picked up for, uh, well I might as well say $4 because I bundled this up with a movie too that my sister bought. So we split the difference. Uh, bought the movie in these games for 5 bucks. So uh, she gave me a dollar so I basically paid 4 bucks for these. I got Siphon Filter 2. Greatest Hits. Um, 007 The World Is Not Enough, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, and Tom Clancy's Ghost, Ghost Recon, the game of the year. And everything is complete, so those were indeed good pickups, in my opinion. So there's that. Uh, now on to week number two. Uh, these were done all while I was on vacation from my job. Uh, we went up to the camper and stayed for like five days. And one of those days I decided to uh, go drive out of my way to hit the area around the savers that I went to in, I think it was in episode 12 maybe. Uh, it's the first time I visited savers. Anyways, uh, so I decided to go there and check out all the Goodwills and Salvation Armies in that area. Found some stuff, so I picked some up. So at this Goodwill, I picked up a bag of toys for $2.13. And... Basically, the reason why I picked it up was for this Donatello that's sitting in here. But the only other thing that has of any interest in here is there's a Batman. Uh, other than that, the rest of the stuff's just kind of random. Probably open it up, take two pieces out, and then get, put the rest in the little toy box we got here for the little kids. So, there's that. Another Goodwill that I went to, which... Unfortunately, a lot of the ones in this area, the price were extremely high, so I didn't buy a whole lot of things, but I bought what I thought was worth it. Uh, for $2.99, I picked up Bloody Roar Primal Fury for the GameCube. It's art and disc only, but still, it's like a, I believe it was like a $10 game. If I had the manual, it would make it 15, but that's okay. I'll take it the way it is. Then my visit to Savers this time, 
I don't have the receipt here. I believe it's in another bag or something, or I lost it. I picked up these three games, uh, these three items. Oh, there it is. No, that's not. Never mind. Uh, bought these three items. There was a uh, PlayStation 2 copy of EverQuest Frontiers, which had another game in it. Uh, Crash Team Racing for PlayStation. So I was more than happy to grab that. Paid $2.99 for this. And I believe I paid $2.99 for this also. Which was Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy's Conquest. So another awesome strategy guide to add into my collection. Especially with a vintage Super Nintendo one that makes it even uh, cooler. So those were the finds while I was on vacation. Uh, next finds are from this area when I came back from vacation. First ones I will show are uh, from this Goodwill here. Paid seven dollars and fifty-five cents for a copy of Scrabble Hitman Blood Money for the 360 and it is sealed there is the Xbox seal and a complete copy of Barbie Horse Adventures Wild Horse Rescue this is like a $15 game complete so that was one of the reasons why I bought it don't intend to play it just more or less to add value to the collection so there's those pickups uh, next pickup I got I'm going to save the best pickup for last I uh, picked up this Atari 5200 for $19.99 uh, last time this Salvation Army had the uh, Atari 5200, it had games and controllers and stuff. They wanted 50 bucks for it. I passed on it because I didn't have the money on it. I wish I would have had it then. Uh, but I didn't want to let this one go away without getting it, so I bought it. So I'm happy to be an owner of a 5200 now. I just need to get some pieces for it. I need to get the converter box and some controllers because it was just console only. So, needs a little collecting for it. But, you know, hey, that's part of collecting, the fun of hunting for it all. Then, at this Salvation Army was the score of the scores. I picked up Legend of Zelda Wind Waker for GameCube. And I only paid $2.15 for it. Here is the receipt, by the way, for the 5200 I paid $21.64. But, disc is here. Daniel's not, so I own two copies of One Waker now. And this one's like in phenomenal condition. So, this will probably be the one I'll keep. Sad to say though, uh, I have yet to find a manual, so I really need a manual for that. Uh, last find for the week is these two boxes here. No, it's not a box of Easy Mac. Uh, it's a big bundle of uh, Sega Genesis stuff. Uh, they wanted 130 bucks for this. And they knew at a garage sale they wouldn't get that. So they had it listed at 100 which is still steep. Um, I offered them a certain amount of money. I really don't want to disclose how much I paid for this because I kind of think I overpaid for it, but I'm not sure. Um, but I ended up buying it. It is a Model 2 Genesis. has two controllers and all the cords to complete it have yet to test it out see if it works I have a couple already so it's not like I need the system uh, the main part I wanted was what was in here which were all the games now 
the games that are in here, all of them are complete in box except for two of them. And there's only one game missing a manual. And at the time, right now, I don't remember which one it was. Oh, I do now. Um, so far, I will let you know what is incomplete. Um, the first pickup is Disney's Aladdin. Uh, Arnold Palmer Tournament Golf. This is the only game that's not complete. It's Bulls vs. Blazers in the NBA Playoffs. Beavis and Butthead. Clue. But the rest of these games that come in the boxes, they're all complete. Got Family Feud. Oops. Monopoly. NBA Jam TE. NHL 94. Pitfall, The Mayan Adventure, RBI Baseball 93, Super, or, uh, Street Fighter 2 Special Ch Champion Edition, that's kind of one of the finds of the lot, uh, this one might not be complete either, oh yeah it is, never mind, it's just facing a different way. Uh, Taz in Escape from Mars. The Lion King. The Page Master. Uh, the other, one of the other games to make this lot worth picking up. Toe Jam and Earl in Panic on Funk, Funkotron. Top Gear 2, Toy Story, and then the last three games that are complete, World Series Baseball 95, 96, and 98, so three World Series games. There's that, and there are two loose games. First loose game, which is like Minty Fresh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and the other one which made this also worthwhile to get, probably the more expensive game out of the whole lot, it's not Hyperstone Heist, I wish, but it was Flintstones. So this is probably the worst condition one out of all of them too, because uh, the top has damage. Which kind of sucks, but oh well. Still a decent priced uh, game, so. But that'll do it for this video of In the Wild Finds, episode number 16. Hopefully you enjoyed the pickups. Stay tuned as I got, I believe, three more videos to do. And I have a couple scavenges to do, but they probably will be a little bit behind all this. But there'll be a lot of editing to do as I got to edit these videos and then get them onto YouTube. So these won't all be up right away. So just stay tuned for the videos that are coming. Have a good day, guys, and happy hunting. Peace out.